Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI. This is episode 8 and we're at the uh, Hotu step right now. So let's talk to this guy here. We have a merchant and we can buy a copper sword, a uh, broadsword which we already have. Well I already have it. And you can buy a tempered uniform and you can buy some materials if you want to buy some. Yeah, materials are pretty easy to get right now anyway. So, that's what you can get from that guy. And we have a new enemy encounter up there. I think a snail's in a new enemy as well. So let's fight it. There's one important item that we're going to be getting here, and it's the mini metal. Okay, yeah, these are drill drones. We never fought these yet. Uh, I'm going to use his. That will kill that guy on the right, and we can the left guy. So that arrow can finish him off. There we go. So I found out that um, Who else you can actually increase the difficulty of this fledging fighter. Awarded for claiming victory in at least 50 battles. Okay, there is an achievement. Oh, awarded for acquiring at least 10 accolades. There's another achievement, 2 and 1. Yeah, so I found out that you can actually increase the difficulty in this game by selecting Draconian quests. But I'm not going to be doing that right now because I already started this playthrough. So, I'm gonna finish it. And I'm thinking that maybe um, when this is done, I might do a challenge run where I select Draconian quest and Basically, basically select every cursed option except for the one that makes you confused, I think it is. So select every cursed option, which means um, I won't have any shopping. I won't be able to shop. I won't have... I won't be able to use any armor. And... The enemies are stronger. I'm not sure how much stronger, but they're supposed to be super strong, apparently. And no fleeing, which I don't really flee anyways, so it's pretty much like I'm using that always. Nice. Oh, Eric, level 10. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. And we learn a new spell, Rubble Rouser. Oh, Eric learns a new pet power that can be performed with Zilt. Zilds help scorched earth. Oh, we get flurry feather. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking of doing once I get all the achievements in this game and help people out. Then I can just relax and start a all I can start a challenge run, which I think would be pretty fun to be honest. I I I love challenges. I really thrive off challenges. And okay, so there's. Can I fight those birds up in the sky? Probably. I can probably find one around the corner somewhere. So let me check out the sparky spots, huh? No, uh, we're not near one anyway. The first one's right in front of us, across from that hotel. The Hotu. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Hotu, right? It's, it's Hotu or Hotu. Okay, so it looks like... is that a bell for summoning on the sign? Oh, there's new enemies. And let's get that sparky spot first, because it showed on the map, it showed it was right here. And that's a warmaline? There it is. Warmaline. It's a glowing stone that emits a welcoming warmth, and it's under materials. So it's probably used for crafting something. I'm not sure what. But I will find out, and then I'll let you guys know. Okay, so let's go all the way around here. And we'll grab this sparkly spot here. I want to get that chest over there. Is there another sparkly spot? Nope. Okay, let me check the sparkly spots. We have one to our left here. Okay, so let's grab iron ore, iron ore, and copper ore. Okay, so you know what? Let's uh, let's fight Majin Buu over here. 
Oh, nice. Okay, got them both. So I healed myself and with handy heal, and now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna attack the bomb. The magic tool with oh wow, 51 damage. Okay. Well, that made quick work of them. Now let's seize them. And we can finish him off now for regular attacks. There we go. That was an easy battle because of the critical hit on Majin Buu. Huh. And we have a, bird, a new uh, monster following us. The, some eagle. Let's fight that thing. Garuda. It's not the thing that attacked us at the beginning of the game. Looks like it. Looks like that eagle that attacked us at the very beginning of the game. Oh my god, I'm getting critical hits. Another one bites the dust. I get it, buddy. I get it. Okay, so I'm gonna check the map here, and before we head to the uh, Haru or the Haru, we're gonna collect all these breakfast spots that we can on on the Haru step. So let's go ahead up here, and I'm gonna figure out how to get that chest still. But, if, but we have a horse up here, so that's gonna make traveling a little bit easier on us. So let's go summon that horse. Okay. Ring the bell here. And let's go. Let's fight these things. The wizard, a lump wizard appears. New enemy encounter. And dead. <laughs> Lump Wizards defeated. Okay. Let's check out the map one more time. Okay, so we have some to our right and some to our left. I'll grab the ones on the left first. <coughs> right across this bridge. And... Where is it? Okay, so it's right to our right, right over here, and we'll grab this sparky spot, which gives us a beast bone. And the other one showed us it was like right in front of us somewhere. Oh, new enemies! Yay! Probably can't go through there yet. Okay, so what's behind us? Around here. Here's the last sparky spot over here, on this side. That's a glass frit. What are these bunny warriors? Should I fight them? Yes, fight them. Robber rabbits? How much damage you guys do? Robber rabbit. 15? Huh. 16. Um, medical herb. Okay, rubber rabbit. Seventeen. Okay, Eric's uh, pet powers is coming up, so I'm just gonna. Holy shit, man, these things are strong. To pro probably a high level. So, I'm gonna finish off this guy. And I'm gonna attack with the... Or actually, who's attacking? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna heal. Zailed. I need to use up some medical herbs anyway. Got way too many of them. Alright, let's attack. 21 damage. 14. And dead. Robber rabbits are defeated. Another one bites the dust. 
they didn't really give that much experience for the difficulty of the battle. Okay, so still here at the Galpos region, where across from the uh, guard over here is a chest hidden in the grass. We want to grab the mini meadow right there. Now we're going to head head over and grab the rest of the sparkly spots and then I'll, we're going to meet up right at, um, right at the huddle. And I, this time I'm going to make a right, left turn here and I'm going to rest at the campfire and then save my game. Okay, so let's check these sparkly spots and we have a couple right in front of us. So let's get those. One is up there. Okay, so I just go around here. And we get the wake robin, and now uh, the other one was way up here. Oh, here it is. Iron ore, copper ore, and iron ore. Nice. So that's pretty good. Alright, so here we are, guys, on the map. And now we're at the... We're gonna head over and enter the... Haru. Civilization at last. And I think it's safe to say we're not being followed anymore. For now, at least. <laughs> I thought so anyway. <laughs> Two travelers come. Their timing is auspicious as the day's new dawn. My bathhouse awaits. Savor its steamy embrace as frogs do spring rain. Rejoice, honored guests, for to mark this happy day, you may sweat for free. Um, we're kind of busy to be sweating. Thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. Too busy to bathe? Too busy to wash away the scent of the road? Huh? Okay, maybe I'm not at my freshest. Fine, I'll visit your bathhouse if it means that much to you. Might as well go sweat off the journey while we have the chance. I'll see you in there, okay? The winds bring a guest. Joyfully I shall guide him to where bliss awaits. <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, talk to the pink bubble. Let's see what he says. Anything useful? Like snowstorms and summer days, visitors are rare. <laughs> you blue-haired comrade steam in the stair-top sauna, peak in the mist. Uh, <laughs> not really sure if he said anything useful. Oh, we can save our game here. Might as well do that. All right, boys, it's uh, exploring time. Let's see what we can find. So we have a safe here, and a, we have an inn. Let's open up. Mm. Should I deposit? I have a thousand. Nah, I'm going to be spending this right now anyway. So... I'll keep it on me for now. I don't really have that much gold that I need to deposit anything. But once I start getting more gold, I will start probably depositing stuff. Oh, okay, let's open a wardrobe. Nothing in that one. Anything in this one? Come on. Plain clothes. Eh, they usually never give anything good. I haven't found a, a really good item in a wardrobe, wardrobe yet. Maybe later in the game, perhaps? Okay. So that's the inn. Yeah, let's go around the inn now. Let's see if there's anything hiding. Aha! Uh -huh. There sure is. Treasure chest, we have a recipe book entitled An Introduction to Armor. He takes a look inside. Zale learns how to make suits of bronze armor. Cool. We can make bronze armor now. Duh. Zale acquires 20 coins. Thanks for stating the obvious. 
Okay, let's uh, let's go across here this time. Can we get in here? Mm, oh, we can. Cool. Uh, nothing there. Oh, we have another ward roll. Let's see what we get. Nothing, right? Flax and thread. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just stealing your thread. Oh no, it's getting nighttime. Now everything's closed. Because everybody's sleepy time. Shh, we gotta be quiet. Don't wanna wake people up. Oh, there's a chest hidden there. But these freaking bamboo trees are annoying. Can I? I'm gonna see if I can go around and get it, but first I'll go inside this house. And we'll see what we can. Okay. Oh, nice fireplace. Oh, we have a ward robe. Can I steal more thread? A hundred gold coins. Sorry, guys, I just stole your savings. There's a book called The Diary of Tetsu Smith. And I don't really want to read it. I just want to see if it's anything good. Do I get a recipe? No, I don't. Okay, no recipe. Now remember there was a chest behind this house here. What do we get here? Oh, a mini metal. Cool, we need those. I still have to get the one at the very beginning of the game inside the castle because I forgot to get that one before in my part one. Yep, forgot to get it, but that's okay. We'll, we'll backtrack and get it. It's not nothing is missable. Thankfully, thankfully nothing's missable. I hate missable achievements. I really do. So let's see up here. We have two side quests that we can do. We're missing a couple. We're missing a few more uh, sparkly spots. Let's go head up to the left and we'll patrol the right side after. I just wanna. Can we have sword and armor shop? But are they closed? Cause it's nighttime. <coughs> Let's grab the uh, sparkly spot here really quick. We got a flurry feather. That's nice. It's used for materials for crafting. And let's talk to the side quest guy, I guess. Start the quest. The sweat on one's brow, the hammer on hot iron, the life of a smith. Art of our father is the village built on this trade, a proud tradition. We need iron ore, the mountains abound in it, an endless supply. Help us to find it, gather the ore so we need. A reward awaits. I already have it. Okay, so we bring him iron ore, and then it looks like we learned I love iron arms, which means we can probably make iron armor. Yes, yes, I got it already, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna turn my quest in. You have found the ore! <laughs> I've had it on me the whole time. Now, I must confess, in truth, we had enough ore. I wish to test you. You passed with a plume. You have a true miner's heart. You may keep the ore. What? Is... But that is not all. I must reward you further. This tome, too, is yours. Well, it's true. I do have a miner's heart. I love iron arms. He reads it from cover to cover and learns its incredible contents by heart. Zale learns how to make iron broadswords and cast iron claymores. Nice. You've learned a lot about mining, about ore, and about yourself. Okay. Sure. I think I've learned more about mine. <laughs> I'll forget about it. Here's brick ball barrels behind the item shop. Lamp light and copper ore. More materials for farming. Let's check out Sparky spots. Oh, okay, we have to go all the way up here. I know there's some stuff up here that we haven't got yet. Because we haven't been up here yet. As long as we don't go towards the main mission yet. Because I don't want to... I want to get everything first before we, we continue the story. That's usually how I like playing these games. Get everything first and then continue the story. Always oh, got to adventure every nick and corner of the map. Strong medicine in that pot, by the way. going here now. This is not proceeding the story, is it? 
Miko's Shrine. Hello. Are you Miko? We stood by and watched him while Miko and her son went to fight at the beast. The dragon lay slain, but the price paid was heavy. The life of the boy. Now our mistress grieves, and our efforts to soothe her fall like rain on stone. I'm sorry to hear that. Whatever you're talking about. Ryu is our hero. His life fleeting but worthy gift and to save us. You may not enter. Our mother's grief is private. The fox mourns for a cub. The what? What the hell kind of saying are you talking about, dude? I have no idea. What uh, that crazy beast going on about? Ryo protected us. His sword held the dragon back. Now he is no more. Miko lost her son. Now she must live with her grief. Bleak as winter rain. Why do you guys talk in riddles? The hell. Let me grab this treasure chest and I'll be on my way, okay? Oh, perfectionist pearls. Now we can start heading up. Okay. Let's check the left building here first. Oh, we got a cutscene. How dare you! Oh! Oh! That's no way to treat a lady! Didn't your mother teach you any manners? Your words greet my ears. A good child should be silent and stay out of bars. I told you I need to speak to the owner. It's important. He might know where my little sister is. A child in a bar is like a fish in a tree. You must search elsewhere. What? Ugh, fine. If you're going to be a complete pighead about it, I'll go and ask the guards by the gate instead. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have here? Well, are you going to tell me your name or not? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll tell you my name. It's... None of your business. No, I'm just kidding. Hmm, could be worse, I suppose. Listen, you and I need to talk, but my little sister is missing, so I have to go and find her first. I never thought I'd finally meet you in a place like this. It's funny how things work out. Okay, that was weird. Let's go inside the bar. You gonna kick me out with two, buddy? Uh, it doesn't really look like there's much in the bar. Oh, we can go open this door. And I guess we can break some pots and see what's in here. 14 gold coins, not bad. Oh, we have a quest over here, I guess. Single file. And six gold coins. And a chest, can I open it? Yes, I can. He's not gonna stop me. Gold ore. Nice. I didn't, didn't even have to mine it. Uh, what in beckons? My son is to tie the knot, but he needs a ring. I have the gold ore, but sadly not the talent to craft a gold ring. But could it be true? Could you have a fun-sized forge and I know how and know how it works? Please, forge a gold ring. Not just a norm. Okay, so we have to forge a gold ring and it looks like a reward is a cruiser ring. It looks like a boomerang. Hmm. Yeah, sure, I'll craft your gold ring. Well, we're gonna have to craft the gold ring after because we don't have access to the fun-sized forge or no. So let's head down. And we're gonna head all the way. Actually, we'll, we'll get the first weapon and armor shop over here. We'll access the weapon and armor shop first, and then we'll proceed to get the uh, sparkly spots. So I definitely want to check out the ar the weapons first. Okay, so we can make this stuff because we found the recipes, so we don't even have to buy that. However, poison moth knife that's new. I should probably buy that for uh, Eric. So we'll give that to Eric. Mm-hmm. I'll probably find an ingredient for it too soon. 
Okay. Would you like to equip it right now? Sure. Let's go check that out now. I'm like bankrupt now from that. <laughs> I'm so poor. 8% uh, chance of paralyzing enemies when attacking. But it's a poison knife. And it paralyzes enemies? That's weird. Wouldn't, shouldn't it poison them? I hope I can... Oh! Special properties... Uh, but even if you get plus 3, it, doesn't inc it does not increase your chance of paralysis. However, your standard attack goes up as usual. Okay. Uh, hopefully I can find a recipe for that. I would like to get plus 3 unless I find something better soon. You seek our sitting bass, then you must ascend these stairs to the misty peak. But first, we shall check this door. And... Hmm. We shall find nothing. But pots to break. <laughs> Flax and thread. Party hide. Hmm. Nothing there. Hold up. Gotta check over here. Nope. Okay. What about check map? So we can go up the stairs and enter the left building? No, that goes all the way around. Okay, so I think we pretty much uh, checked everything. So let's go up the stairs now. And let's progress the main the main story. It's gonna talk to some NPCs. And before we go in, let's uh, check to make sure that we don't miss anything. So we'll break some barrels here and grab Pretty Betsy. A handy herb that perma permanently increases charm by just a little. Consumed upon use. Hmm. Oh, I guess just a little is better than nothing. Okay, so I heard I got free service here. Okay, let's go. A wise decision. I your soul be purified like fresh spring water. Zale changes into more appropriate attire. Now you are ready. The entranceway lies ahead. Sweaty bliss awaits. Okay. Can I go through here? No. <laughs> Fine. At least we have access now. Okay, let's open this door. Finally! I was wondering where you'd got to. Come join me. This turned out to be a pretty good idea. We've got the place to ourselves, so we may as well enjoy it. We've earned a little break, wouldn't you say? Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. So, you've been scoping out the town, huh? See anything interesting? Ah, uh, her? Yeah, she was sniffing around here, too. She's way too young to be hanging around in bars, though. No wonder they kicked her out. I don't envy her having a kid sister to run around after. They have a habit of causing headaches. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, did you just say something? Is that a g g <laughs> I can't find you anywhere. Huh. You scared us there for a second. What are you doing in here? <laughs> I was waiting in the end. <laughs> you you said you were Take a bath, but, but you never came back. <laughs> Where did you go? Why, why did you leave me all on my own? <laughs> Sounds like she's lost someone. <gasps> Wait, 
This must be the girl whose big sister's looking for her. Why don't we see what we can do to help? How about you dry your eyes and tell us your name, kid? Uh, uh, I'm Connie. Nice to meet you, Connie. Why don't you come with us and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for. Okay, now we have to look for someone great. Oh, at least it's daylight now. Okay, so I want to grab these sparkly spots inside here first before we head out. Oh, we got a file of holy water. Is it in here? There it is. Yeah, you exclamation mark. Holy water. <laughs> I have quite a nerve. Eh? Sorry about that. Well, we have all the sparkly spots in this uh, hot, hot old place now. So I guess we can continue. Let's get out of here. Adios, guys. Can I get my attire back? Hey, I want my uh, my ship back. Uh, whatever. Keep it. Yes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now I'm changing. Hmm. Oh, great. Okay, let's go look for that little red girl now. So I head this way, and we head all the way around. And there she is, right there, talking to some big guy. Okay, we found your little sister. Now no, listen, you, you listen I to me, you a little girl. Question. I'm Have telling you, you I haven't seen your sister. Well, well, what do you know? Looks like she's picking fights with grown-ups again. <sighs> hmm. I wish they told me they only let complete pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. Hey kid, good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? Aren't you pleased to see your big sis? Uh, um, um, uh, I, uh, um, uh, she's... Huh? I don't know why you're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. I've never seen this girl before in my life. Huh? Uh, I don't have any brothers or sisters. I've lost my daddy. Gosh, where do I start? Did you not think of, I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of jumping to idiotic conclusions? Listen, short stuff. I'm not gonna let a little brat like you speak to me like that. <sighs> I hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. You've got a daddy to find. Listen, I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? Um... Er, I guess. Thanks. I'll never get in there otherwise. You're a lifesaver. I'm Veronica, by the way. Right, let's get going, shall we? I'll look after this little one. Don't worry, you don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll find your daddy in no time, you'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Well, looks like we don't have much choice. Let's hit the bar. Okay, so now we have Little Red Riding Hood in our party. So let's go hit the bar. Bam. Welcome to our inn. A safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. Huh? Huh? Warnings unheeded. The fish, 
returns to the tree, what can deter her? <sighs> She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? Understanding dawns. The fish has a chaperone. She is uh, welcome here. <clears throat> no one's sitting here, are they? Service, if you please. Huh? <sighs> A fearsome young pup. Perhaps tea will soften her. A fine warming brew. That sounds lovely, but I don't have time for tea, I'm afraid. I'm looking for someone. I'll get straight to the point. There's a girl called Serena. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? Serena. Yes, now I recall. The young girl sought her sister, but left without joy. That'll be her. Did she say where she was going? Westward, she wandered. Sensing her sister, she said, guided by voices. Huh? Westward? Oh, the idiot must have gone to help me, and I was already back here! Oh... I was kidnapped, you see. I was in the bathhouse when some monsters attacked me. They took me off to their lair. I managed to escape. So I came back to find Serena, but it looks like now she's gone to try and rescue me. Right, you lot. You're no ordinary travellers. Anyone with eyes can see that. I don't have time to explain all the ins and outs of it right now, but I need you to help me go and find my sister. Are you in? I knew you wouldn't let me down. Are you leaving? I want to come with you. Sorry, you're staying put. But don't worry, I think I know where your dad might be. We'll find him for you, so be a good little girl till we get back. Mm. Mm. You do realize you're a little girl too, right? You sure you're gonna be able to keep up? Who do you think you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea and mighty magician, can keep up with riffraff like you any day. I'm more worried about you slowing me down, if I'm completely honest. Right, let's head west, shall we? The monster's lair is a giant underground labyrinth out that way. I'm pretty sure we'll find Serena in there somewhere. The entrance is on the coast. I know exactly who you are, you know. Don't let me down. Ah, shit. She knows I'm the luminary. Okay, so we have a new party member? Wait, what? Where is she? Guess not. <laughs> okay, so I forgot to get one thing. So we're gonna head back to the sauna. We're gonna go in here. And talk to her. Oh, I'm gonna grab this broken spot again. Again while I'm here. And this time I'm gonna go through here. And one more. Okay. So now let's go around here and enter through here. For a scene. Yeek! Intruder! Men are both ugly. Cuckoo stands in the nest of dolls. Does the sun enter the moon's... Serene Kingdom? No, be gone from here now! <laughs> okay, so we get the accolade for that. Where no man has gone before. Awarded for exploring the great unknown. Okay, the next thing we want to do is go all the way around here and talk to her. Okay, so you talk to her and now you want to select a yes. Alas, the ritual has ended. The, the custom is here appreciated. Noble sir, pray visit us as often as the mood taketh thee. 
And Puff Puff Pioneer, awarded to commemorate your very first taste of the exotic power of the Puff Puff. Okay, so those are the two Aklods that I missed um, getting here the first time around. We need to start forging the gold ring so we can finish that purple side quest. Alright, so I just saved my game and I'm gonna head out here. I think we need to find the campfire so we can make our item. What is it? Plus one. Okay. So let's go turn that uh, ring in to the NPC. Okay, so here's the NPC, and we're gonna give him the gold ring. A wonder... A joy. All I had hoped for and more. Please, take this reward. Zild receives a crystal ring. Cool. So that's another side quest completed. And this is actually a weapon for Eric, but we don't really need it. Um... I'm not on the boomerang path right now, I have like no skills for it. So we'll just uh, keep going. And I'm gonna meet you guys right at the campfire. Okay, so we're at the campfire again. And this time we're gonna forge a new weapon for us. So let's go weapons, and here's what we have. A new, we have an iron broadsword, so if you're on the sword path, you can craft this. And if you're on a two-hand path like me, we can cast Cast Iron Claymore. Which is a great boost to our attack. Wow. I'll, I'm hoping to get plus three. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get plus three for Cast Iron Claymore. Holy shit. And this is the new uh, move we learned right here. Double edge bash. Nice, okay. Nice. Um, it's double edge bash here. Okay, pretty good. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. What's the appraise say? Okay, let's, let's finish. Let's see what, what, where it is. Hopefully plus three. Nope. Got plus two though. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm, I'm okay with plus two. So as you can see, we can still make gold rings. We still have access to it, but we don't have the we don't have gold ore right now because we had to use it for a quest. We can also make bronze armor still. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make bronze armor for the main character. Hopefully, I can get two or two or three is fine with me. Nice. Okay. Yes! Okay, I'm learning this. Pretty good now. Alright, so that's plus three probably. I think that's plus three. That's a lot of... good ones. Yeah, nice. Alright. Awarded for crafting ten items on the fun size forge. Oh, so we got an achievement. Nice. So this is going to be for Z uh, the main character Zild. I'm going to give him bronze armor plus three. It's going to increase our defense. Holy crap. Quite a bit. Increases our defense by 15 points and decreases turn by 10, but that's worth it. Definitely. Okay. So that's your setup for now. So I'm just going to save my game and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.